Welcome back YouTube and molders out there. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. So today's video is actually a PowerPoint presentation going over spruce sticking or breaking off. So this will happen all the time in a mold. You'll have issues where it's been running, all of a sudden the sprue starts breaking off or it starts sticking inside of the, the sprue bushing hole, okay? So some of the tools you can actually use you can actually use something like this, which tells you the size of the sprue or the tip that you want to use. So you put this into the sprue bushing side, it'll tell you what size that is and then you want to go one size smaller. Or you could use something like this. This tells you the radius of the nozzle tip and the sprue bushing. Most of them are half inch radius. Uh, some companies use three quarter, but the standard out there is half inch radius on everything, okay? So again, radius gauge, and then you got your uh, sprue bushing to check the size of the sprue bushing. You always wanna go one size smaller on your tip. So I hope you guys enjoy the video or the PowerPoint presentation inside this video. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Welcome back YouTube and molders out there. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. So today's PowerPoint presentation is actually gonna go over troubleshooting, sprue sticking, or breaking off in the mold, okay? So a lot of molders have this issue. It, it, it happens a lot, and then you're sitting there fighting with it over and over for long periods of time. So let's jump into this. So sprue sticking during the injection, can be caused by the cooling time is too short and the sprue has not yet solidified. Uh, the improper fit size between the sprue bushing and the nozzle result, resulting in leakage. In addition, suggest that when a sprue or part stick, the result of trying to unstick it is often more often more scratches and undercuts, making the problem worse and the fix more costly. Here's how to set up proper procedure for this sticking widget, okay? So check the orifice, make sure. So what you got is you have this little, this little thing here to where you can actually put this in there to measure your size of your tip, okay? And then you have actually a radius gauge to where you can actually use this to measure the radius. Most radiuses are half inch radius. That's what we always use, okay? But this here, you can actually use this to actually go one size smaller than what the sprue bushing is. So it says on here, it says, check that the orifice in the nozzle tip is smaller than the orifice of the sprue. The tip orifice should be at least 0 0.03 inch, uh, 0.75 millimeters, smaller than diameter than the sprue. Okay, so think about that. Um, check that the radius of the nozzle tip and sprue bushing mate properly. So that's why I said use this. Most radiuses are all half inch radius. Some companies use three quarter. It just depends on the, the company, I guess. And then check the nozzle tip is free, okay? So make sure everything's, nothing's in the way of it. It seats all good. Another way you could actually check this too that I've done in the past is take a piece of cardboard, stick a piece of cardboard up into in the sprue bushing area, run your nozzle all the way up in there, and then back it up. Make sure it's got a perfect seat all the way around that cardboard. If it does, then you know you're correct. You're, you're seated correctly, okay? <clears throat> I about lost my voice there, but yeah. Check that and see what you guys think on that, okay? So the first thing you want to check is you want to check your mold. That's usually where it's at. It's always in the mold. You fight with it over and over. So the mold, decrease mold temperature, polish sprue, runner, or channel of mold. 
increased sprue bushing taper. Okay, so what they're talking about when they talk about taper is the very end of the runner itself coming out of the the sprue bushing tip, out of the the barrel temperature. You know where your barrel is, out of the nozzle. So out of your nozzle body right there at the very end. This shooting into there, that's where it comes out of the mold, right there at the sprue bushing area. That's the last place that you can see up here in the corner. One that's damaged and has like a mushroom head on it. And then the one down below, it's got a nice smooth area on it. So what you want is you want it, the more you dig at it and fight with it, it's going to stick in there. It gets burrs. It gets, you know, undercuts all in it. So the best thing to do is have a well on the other side to pull it to the other side for the time being. Or take a pin, if it's already got an ejector pin right there where the sprue bushing is, cut a little area on that pin to actually help pull it to the other side so it stays on the other side okay so the material aspect of it check material for contamination decrease percentage of regrind or eliminate okay so that's always every time you have an issue everybody says regrind take away take away use virgin material lubricant material or lubricate material um, and then check moisture Check to see if it's dry or not. Do a moisture analysis check. You, you don't ever know. I mean, like I said, you check the mold. Most of the time it's on the mold side. But this is the material side. If you if you get through the mold and you're still having issues, this is where you want to go next. Okay, now on the machine side. Okay, check the nozzle orifice is smaller than the sprue orifice. Increase nozzle temperature. Reverse tapered nozzle, nylon tip, okay, or not nozzle tip. So reverse tapered not, nozzle tip would work really good. Uh, check seal surface on nozzle radius, seat, and the body. Increase nozzle orifice size, okay. Decrease clamp breakaway speed, so slow the breakaway down to where it, it don't pull real fast and then it's stuck already in there. You want to break it apart real slow. Um, decrease pack and hold time, decrease pack and hold pressure, use sprue break if you have to, to where the unit, after it picks up a shot, it automatically backs up a little bit. Then the next shot, it goes forward before shooting. Um, increase barrel temperature, decrease barrel temperature, increase cooling time or pause time, okay? So there's a lot of different variables. Um, the majority of the time, it's always there's a burr, something got into the sprue bushing and damaged that area. So it's wanting to stick in there. Um, like you said, you get in there with pliers or grippers or whatever and you pull it out. You're more or less damaging that whole area. You're making it worse than what it is. Uh, the best thing to do is just to pull the mold, let them repolish the, the sprue bushing area the and then put it back in. Nine times out of ten, it, it starts pulling it every single time. So think about that. Lastly, this is what I wanted to show you. You have a sprue bushing insert. So these things, they do go bad. You run up in there, the hole on these things gets damaged. Um, the inside of there gets damaged. So this is another issue that you have. Sometimes you can replace these on the molds themselves without having to do anything else and that's that's the proper fix more or less so think about that um, and like I said you can add other undercuts to the other side to help you pull it off if you got to run production because production is always first it comes first you're gonna have tooling say it's not our fault it's processing then you're gonna have maintenance say oh it's not our fault it's it's tooling and you know it just goes around a big circle so you got to do whatever you got to do to run production so if you got to put undercuts on the other side, make little scratches on the other side to help pull it to the other side, do whatever you got to do to make it go to the other side. Um, but I appreciate everyone's support to the channel. Thank you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Smash that like button. It helps the channel a lot. So I appreciate it. Until the next video, peace. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it was informative. You learned something from it. Um, and if you didn't, 
and you think you already know it all, that's fine, I understand. But if you think you have something to add in the comment section to help somebody else out, I really would appreciate it if you comment down below what you think. What are some of the things that you have issues with, with sprues sticking or breaking off in your molds, okay? The best way to be would be have valve gates and you don't have no sprues whatsoever, but we do have that. A lot of companies can't afford to have valve gates and stuff like that, so. But I appreciate everybody's support to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, oh, smash that like button. I almost forgot. Smash it. All right, guys. I appreciate all your support to the channel. Um, until tomorrow, peace. Oh, 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 oh,